Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to do this makeup look right here. This look was requested by one of my subscribers. This one is Dia Mirza's makeup look in the Vogue Beauty Awards 2018, which I just love. This one is a full glammed up evening makeup look with glam eyes, highlighted and contoured face. It's got a sleek look with the hair pulled back and I just love this wet look. So if you want to see how to get this look, then please keep watching. So I'm going to start with this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm going to put it on my eyelids and blend it with my fingers to get a clean base for my eyeshadows. And I'm going to set it with a loose powder so that the eyeshadows do not stick to the base and blends easily. For my eyeshadows, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Flawless 4 palette and taking this warm brown color, I'm going to put it on the crease of my eyes. Next, taking this warm brown shade which is slightly deeper than the previous one, I'm going to apply it on my crease lower than the previous color and just blend it really, really nicely. Next, taking this chocolate brown shade, I'm going to apply it all over my eyelids and this one is a shimmer eyeshadow. So I'm just trying to build the color. Next, I'm taking this dark brown shade from Maybelline the Nudes palette and packing it on my eyelids. I'm just building up the color here and adding lots of browns to get a dark brown, solid brown base. If you have a brown eyeshadow crayon, you can use it as a base too. Next, I'm taking this warm brown shade and applying it all over my eyelids because I felt that my eyelids needed a little bit of more warmer brown touch. Going back to the cool brown and adding it all over my eyelids and here I'm trying to balance the perfect brown tone. Now mixing this chocolate brown and black, I'm going to apply it in the crease of my eyes with a precise brush and applying it in the crease area because I wanted a more prominent crease and also shaping the eye. Next, taking this warmer brown shade, almost like a shimmery rust color, I'm going to apply it all over my eyelids and this will give a beautiful shine to my eyelids. Now mixing the dark brown shade, I'm going to apply it in the inner third of my eyes and the outer third of my eyes to get that halo effect. Next I'm going to apply this Maybelline Master Prime on my T-zone area as well as my cheeks and then blend it with my dual fiber brush. Then taking my MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation, I'm going to apply it all over my face and blend it really really well with my Real Techniques sponge. Next, I'm going to take this LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer and I'm going to apply it under my eyes and then blend it with my sponge. Then taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, I'm going to highlight my under eye area and also blend it with my sponge. This highlights the under eye area beautifully. Now taking this Parat and Doris Loose Powder, I'm going to apply it under my eye area and then blend it with the sponge for that airbrush finish. And then setting my entire face with this powder. Now taking the Star Brown shade from Maybelline The Notes Palette, I'm going to fill my eyebrows. Next, I'm going to take this bronzer from The Body Shop and I'm going to bronze my face. Dia's face in that picture is amazingly bronzed, highlighted and contoured. Next, taking this contour powder from the Ellie Girl, I'm going to contour my face really nicely because this look is all about contour, highlight and looking glam. Next, taking this blush from The Body Shop, this is in the shade Truffle and applying it just above the contour. Now going back with this brown shade, I'm going to apply it on my lower lash line. And going back with the darker brown, I'm going to layer it on top of the previous color. Here I'm back with my false eyelashes on and now taking this warm brown, almost rust, shimmery shade all over my eyelids for that beautiful shimmery glow. 
taking my makeup revolution pro illuminate highlighter i'm gonna highlight all the high points of my face like on top of my cheekbones my forehead my nose cupid's bow chin and for my lips i'm gonna mix a couple of nudes to get that perfect color And here I forgot to highlight the brow bone area, so here I'm highlighting it. So this is my finished makeup look. I hope you liked it and if you did, then please don't forget to like, share and comment on this video. Also, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon. So guys, if you like my videos, then please subscribe to my channel. I upload a lot of celebrity makeup looks and tips and tricks and also vlogs and makeup challenges and click on the bell icon which is important because then you'll be updated every time I upload any new video and I'm gonna see you in my next video till then go forth and dazzle.